Namaste, my dear students of grade 4. How are you doing? I hope all of you are doing pretty well. I am too. First of all, let me welcome you all to our English class. This is Unit uh, 13, uh, Habits and Interest, uh, Grammar 1 and the writing part of this unit. This is the second lesson of Unit 14. So, as usual, I hope all of you are ready with your necessary materials. Your textbook, your exercise book, pen or pencil. Are you all ready? Yes, my dear students. So, before we begin, let us recap a bit what did we learn in our previous class. Well, we, in our previous class, we discussed the reading part of Unit 13. So, let us look at some of the pictures and recap a bit. What do these people like to do? What is their hobby? Let us look at the first picture and guess. So, what do or what does she love to do? Can you please tell me about this very first picture? Very good. So, she loves singing. So, what is her hobby? Very good. Her hobby is singing, right? Now, look at this second picture and please tell me what does she love to do? Okay, what is her hobby? Did you guess? Very good. She likes dancing, okay? So, dancing is her hobby, right? And look at another one. Oh, yes. What is she doing there? Swimming. Perfect. So, what is her hobby then? Very good. She loves swimming. Swimming is her hobby, right? And look at another one. So, what is he doing there? Very good. He's running. So, his hobby is? Very good. Running. He loves running, okay? So, that is his hobby. Right. Now, let's see. Look. What an amazing, right? Look at those old people there, right? So, where are they going? Can you please guess about this scene there? Ah, hiking. Right. Do you love hiking or not? Of course, I do love hiking. Okay. Uh, when I am free, when I am in leisure time, uh, I love to go for hiking. So, look at this picture as well. Right. They enjoy hiking. All right. So, hiking can be their hobby or interest. Yes, my dear students, this is what we did in our previous class. So, without making any further delay, now let's move on to our lesson today. This is Grammar 1. Right. So, then what are we going to discuss today in this first grammar exercise? Yes, my dear students, so, uh, in this section, uh, exercise A, we are going to complete the sentences from the reading text. We read this text in our previous class and now we are going to find some missing information given in the sentences. So, for your convenience, I have taken I have taken some of the part of our reading text here. Okay, so look at first what is missing there in a, you know, sentence A, B and C. Then you are supposed to quickly look at these, let's say the part of that text and find the missing information. Okay, so let's see firstly number A. C, look at here, often uh, time to ski. Now, let's read it quickly, okay, and find what is missing here in the gap. Okay, 
Are you all ready? Please, turn over your textbook, okay, and look it quickly. Mary has a lot of hobbies and interest. She usually gets up early so she can run before work. She doesn't often have time to ski. Yes, my dear students, so did you look it? Did you find the information there? She doesn't often have time to ski, but she occasionally goes on Saturdays during the winter. Look at that. I hope you have got the information there. So see. See what? Doesn't often. Look at here. Often is there. She doesn't often have time to ski. Did you find? Very good. Right. She doesn't often have time to ski. Okay. So, this is what you have found the information for sentence A. Now, look at B. C. Extra money. Okay. So, what is missing over here? All right. Now, please, let us read quickly and try to find the missing information from this text. Let's see. C. Always goes to the temple on Wednesday evening. She doesn't have much extra money. Oh, yes. Did you guess that? She doesn't have much extra money, okay? So, what can you see there? She doesn't have. Look at there. Extra money is there, okay? So, what is missing here? Very good. So, she doesn't have much extra money. All right. That is the missing information in that sentence. Very good. So, yes. Okay. You have noticed the information, missing information there in the text. Right. Okay, she doesn't have much extra. Money is the right information that you have found there. And now, the last one. C, often alone. Okay, now let's read the third text. Okay, quickly, third part of the text here. Uh, C usually goes to the gym. If it's raining outside, she isn't often alone because she has a lot of friends. Okay, dear students, did you find the information there? Often alone is where? Here. Okay. So, what is missing there? Very good. Okay, you have got the information. She, yes, isn't often alone. Is there? Right information in the text. Hope all of you have found the information easily from, you know, the reading text that we have done earlier. Yes, all of you have done it well. Now, let us move on to, okay, the grammar exercises that we are going to learn today. Look at here. Answer honestly about yourself and you have to choose from the bracket okay look at here the very first sentence i like or don't like coffee look at there you are supposed to tell me your honest answer okay for example in my case if you ask me i like coffee so i can say I like coffee. And if you don't like, you can say, you can say, I don't like coffee. Right, dear students. So, you can say whether I like coffee or, or you can say I don't like coffee. Okay. Now, let's see the second one. My sister watches or don't, uh, let's say, doesn't watch television. So, yeah. You can say, if your sister uh, watches television, if she likes watching television, so you can say, my sister watches television. But, but, if your sister doesn't uh, love watching television, so you can say, my sister doesn't watch television. Okay? Yes. So, this is what you can choose, whether first one or second one. Okay? 
and look at another one. So my parents, my parents live or don't live together? Ah, yes, you can say, okay, of course our parents live together. So you can say, my parents live together, right? So you can just choose one of these two, whether live or don't live. So you can write your, yes, actual answer, real answer, okay? Let's see number D. We work or don't work in the field. What do you do? Do you work in the field or not? Hmm. <laughs> okay, sometimes, okay? You also work in the field, so you can say, we work in the field. And if you don't, you can say, we don't work in the field, okay? If you ask me, I work, I work in the field, okay? Sometimes when I'm free, so I can say, I work in the field, okay? Yes. And number E, our teachers give or don't give us a lot of homework. What about your teachers? Uh, do your teachers give a lot of homework? Or, or they don't give much homework for you. So you can say please, okay? Our teachers give or don't give. Yeah, you can say don't give, okay? Us a lot of homework, right? Not much. Uh, you can say, yeah, sometimes, you know, uh, your teachers may assign you a little more. And you can say, our teachers give us a lot of homework this day. Maybe, you know, you can say like that. And let's see here. Ah, I, I, I went to school as today or, or I didn't go to school as today. All right, so I do believe, okay, that you went to school as today. So you can say, I went to school as today, but if you became sick or if there was something urgent work at home, so you might be absent, so at that case you can say, I didn't go to school yesterday. Yes, my dear students, I guess you have chosen the, the let's say, the honest answer, okay? Actual answer that what you are, let's say, supposed to do to these different situations, okay? Now, if so, let us move on to the Exercise C. Let's see here. In this exercise, okay, you have to change the sentences into negative sentences. And you are given one example. Let's see here. They talk a lot. Okay. They talk a lot. Please notice this verb here, talk. And this is changed into negative. Look, they don't talk a lot. Okay, this is one example. Now, we are supposed to here discuss, let's see, uh, some more, okay, uh, sentences. Okay, let's see. And how is it changed into negative? Okay, for example, let's see in number A, he tells a lie. Okay, that is, he tells a lie. Now, how do we change that into, into negative? Let me just show you, uh, let's say, the forms of verb, okay? And then, I guess, you feel comfortable to change this all into negative. For example, let's see uh, some of the form of the verbs, like, let's say, I will write here some of the form of the verb, like, uh, let's say here, drink, okay? Drink. And another one, let me write here, drank okay drink drank and let me write another one let's say here so drinks okay either those uh, wrote here three drink drank and let's say here drinks so now how I change you know this drink drank and drinks into let's say the negative form Let's see if there is, let's say here, let's say drink firstly, okay, drink. And then I will write over here, 
I drink coffee and I can say I don't drink coffee, okay? So I can say I don't drink. Let's say here. I drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. And if there is drink, let's see here. If there is drank, okay? If there is drank, and in this case you can say I, look, didn't drink, okay? Let's see here. I didn't drink coffee, okay? This is the second case. And for the third one, let's say, okay, uh, she drinks coffee, for example, okay? She drinks coffee. If there is she drinks coffee, so you can say there, doesn't, let's see here, doesn't, and what? Drink. Let's see. Okay, so let me repeat once again for you. Okay, here is given, let's see, drink. And if there is this drink here, so I said, don't drink, okay? I drink coffee, and I can say here in negative, I don't drink coffee. And I can tell you here, I drank coffee, and look at here, I didn't drink coffee. Second one, okay? And look at here, drinks. And for example, Ram drinks coffee, Hari drinks coffee, or she drinks coffee. If there is she drinks coffee, so we change into here, she doesn't drink, okay? She doesn't drink coffee, right? Yes, I believe you understood, you know, how we sense, yes, that first form of the verb, second and let's say, the, okay, the last one, okay? So you can see the, uh, now let's see here, he tells a lie. Now, can you guess how we change it into negative? He tells a lie. Which one? Okay, this is similar to? Yes, this one. So you can say, he, very good. He doesn't tell a lie. Okay, he tells a lie. It turns into negative. He doesn't tell a lie. And what about the second one? They speak Tamang fluently. Okay, you can see here, they speak Tamang fluently. Now, which one? Okay, as we discuss here, look, as I said you, they are drink, so that is, they speak, so you can say, they speak Tamang fluently. So, yes, they don't speak Tamang fluently, all right? And look at another one, number C, they talk to one another, okay? Now, please, similar to B, okay? They, okay, speak Tamang fluently, as we change here, they don't speak Tamang fluently. In the same way, now you can change here, they talk to one another. So what is the negative form of this? Very good. They don't talk to one another. Right, yes, they don't talk to one another. Okay, let us continue some more. Look at number D. Uh, yes, look at here, C owned a lot of money last month, okay? Look here, the form of the verb owned, okay? Past form. She owned a lot of money last month. So, it is similar to second one, okay? Drank. And that, let's say owned, okay? This is the similar form of the verb. So, she earned a lot of money last month. So, what is the negative? Excellent. That is, she didn't own a lot of money last month. Very good. And what about number E? Sunita has two brothers. Okay. Sunita has two brothers. What about this? Again, look at here, this form of the verb, has. This is the, look at, like that drinks. Okay. Now, what do you do? Very good. Sunita doesn't have two brothers. Okay. You got. Okay. Sunita doesn't have two brothers. And number F, Nitesh did his homework. Now you are familiar. I hope you can do it. Nitesh did his homework. Then, how do you change it? Very good. Nitesh didn't do his homework. 
is the negative form of this number f. Nitesh did his homework, is Nitesh didn't do his homework. This is the way. All right, my dear students, now look at, okay, number G. Subham. Subham watches TV in the evening, right? Look at here, here is watches. Now you are very much familiar. So now, what is the negative form of this? Subham watches TV in the evening. Yes, Subham doesn't watch TV in the evening. Okay, yes, Subham doesn't watch TV in the evening. And number H, my mother gets up early. Oh, yes, this is also similar. Would you try? Please. Very good. My mother gets up early. Okay. And what is the negative? My mother doesn't get up early. Okay. Yes. My mother doesn't get up early is the negative form of this number. Yet my mother gets up early. And look at another one that is, okay, Niru gave me a beautiful notebook. Let's see here. Niru gave me a beautiful notebook. Look at this form of the verb like gave, okay, passed from the verb, okay. So what is its negative? Right. You might have already done. So Niru didn't give me a beautiful notebook. Yes, my dear students, I hope with this different, let's say, the exercises, uh, you have got easy way of changing uh, affirmative into negative, right? Okay, if so, now let us move on to the second part of our relation, and this is writing. So what are we going to do in this writing? Let's see. Oh yes, look at it there. There is a punctuation, okay? What signs can you see here? Ah, what is this? Hmm, very good. This is fully stop, okay? You can see here fully stop and then question mark. And what is this? Oh, exclamation, surprise, okay? When we are surprised then, yes, we use this exclamation marks. Oh my God. Hooray, yes, okay? If we are surprised and you can see there, comma, and also capital letters, okay? So, you need to punctuate these things in the following passage. Let's see here. Okay, dear students, now please uh, go through this text quickly, and please, ah, notice here. Okay, where are the, okay, mistakes there? Look at first. Hi, everyone. Is it correct? Do you think so? Hi everyone, is it a capital or let's say small or uppercase or lowercase here in the beginning of the sentence? Hi everyone, okay, I, what about this I, okay? I have a sister, her name, look at here, where, where are, let's say, the missing, this let's say punctuation. Her name is Sindhu, look at here, Sindhu, is this correct? She is six years old. She likes eating ice cream, but she doesn't like eating pizza. See, look at there is no full stuff there. Please see, you know, where are the mistakes? She loves to watch TV. Uh, her favorite programs are Motupatlu, Mina, and Logdohuri. See, she hates reading books but enjoys listening to stories. Do you have a brother or sister? That is similar. Okay. Yes, this is the text, okay? Uh, you can find their difference, okay? Uh, various kinds of, let's say, the uh, mistakes, punctuational error, mistakes there, okay? So please try to, okay, correct this text with correct punctuation mark. Okay, are you all ready? Okay, let's, let's correct now, okay? Where are the mistakes? Oh, see here, hi, <laughs> here. Okay, hi everyone, and what is there? Hi everyone, okay. Yes, surprise, or let's say some, you know, some sort of, let's say, uh, yeah, exclamation is there. So, hi everyone, maybe he or she is 
addressing something there, okay. Kasi like a bhande garda, okay. And the very beginning, hi everyone, okay. We will just try to address there. So, hi everyone, and here is the exclamation marks. Look at this I and this I, okay. It's capitalized, uppercase letter. I have a sister here, look at here, and there is full stop. Her name is Sindhu, look at here, Sindhu, okay. This is the name of person, so there is what? Capital, Shindu. Ah, look at another sentence, okay? This is again, let's say the capital. She is six years old, okay? She, she likes, look at here, the sentence begins with capital letters, so she likes eating ice cream, but she doesn't like eating pizza, okay? And the sentence ends there, and there is full stop. Again, new sentence starts, so she, look at here starting with capital letter. So, she loves to watch TV. Look, this TV here is small and look at here, okay. She loves to watch TV. And her favorite programs are, look at, Motu Patlu, okay. Here is also Motu Patlu. And another program is there, Mina. So, there is Kama, okay. Yeah, Motu Patlu and then Mina and then what? Lok Dohori, okay. And see, Hates reading books but enjoys listening to stories. And the sentence completes here, and there is full stop. And again, another new sentence. So look at here. Do you have a brother or a sister that is similar? Isn't it a question? Of course, this is a question. So at the end of this sentence, there is a question mark. Right. Wonderful. Yes, this is how we corrected punctuational okay error there in this passage okay my dear students i hope you have also corrected the mistakes in your textbook with pencil right good now oh look what is there okay uh, we have we are given a text okay uh, we need we need to read this paragraph quickly it is about my hobby. What can you see? Wow. Okay. It's lovely drawing. You can see there. Okay. My hobby. So, what is her hobby? Very good. My hobby is drawing. I mostly draw pictures of people, animals, and birds. Oh, isn't it bird? Okay. Yeah. And birds. I use crayons, pencils, color pencils, etc to draw pictures, okay. When it's my family and friends' birthdays, sister and friends, I give my best drawings to them. Wow, what a very good habit, okay. Let's not buy gifts from someone else. We draw ourselves and offer it to our near and dear, okay. I spend my free time drawing pictures. I got first prize in my school for the Drawing competition. I love drawing girls and boys with different hairstyles. Oh, the hairstyles I know are plaits, look at their ponytail and bobs. Okay, I like to draw the sunset, the must. I love drawing, but I don't know exactly when I started to draw. But one day I will become a Good artist. Yes, my dear students, this is a text given in your textbook, okay. This is about her hobby or his hobby, okay. His or her hobby is, let's say, drawing. Now, okay, what is your favorite hobby? Yes, my dear students, so now let us discuss what is your hobby, okay. We are going to develop a similar paragraph about our hobby, okay. Now, let us think, what is our hobby first? Oh, well, look at this diagram or figure, okay. What is written there? My hobby, okay. So, what is my hobby? This is just for example. Uh, let's see here. My hobby is gardening. Gardening is my hobby. Because, why gardening is my hobby? Ah. I love nature, okay, and and the nature 
it gives me pleasure, happiness, right? That's why I, I love nature. Ah, you can say, I have a small garden, look at here, I have a small garden at my home. Do you have? Of course. And what do you do there? Right. Of course, your duty is, you water, oh yes, in your garden, okay, you water them when you are free, in the morning and in the evening. And look at there, uh, you also get uh, fresh vegetables, fruits, from your garden, okay? So, I enjoy fresh vegetables and fruits from my garden. And what do you do in, our, in your leisure time? All right, I spend most of time in my garden. I play there, work there, enjoy there. And look at here, my family also support me, okay, in the garden, okay, activities. And look at there, I'm really happy, okay? I feel really happy uh, with the greenery of my garden. This is the way that you can develop a very good paragraph about your hobby. Let's just see one sample, okay? Oh, look at this, okay? What is she doing? Oh, she is watering, right? Now, as we said there, okay, this is just a sample paragraph, you can write your own. So, everyone has some hobbies. And my hobby is gardening. I love nature, let's see. It gives me pleasure. I have a small garden in my house. I always take care of it. I grow flowers and vegetables in my garden. I love watching my plants growing day by day, okay? And every day in the evening, I water the plants in my garden. We enjoy fresh vegetables from our garden. I spend my little time in my garden. My family helps me in gardening activities. I'm happy with the greenery of my garden. Wonderful, yes, my dear students. So this is the way that you can develop a very good paragraph about your hobby too. So, now, after this writing part of this lesson, ah, aren't you interested to play a very short quiz? Yes, I hope you are. Okay, so now let's begin a short quiz. All right, as we learned in our grammar exercise today, let's see here in number one, I speak English. Can you please tell me what is the negative form of this? I didn't speak English. I don't speak English or I doesn't speak English. Which one is correct? Hooray! The right answer is yes, I don't speak English. That's correct answer. Very good. Look at number two. Our teacher told us a fairy tale, right? And what is this negative? Our teacher didn't told, first one. Our teacher doesn't tell. Second one, or our teacher didn't tell us a fairy tale. What is the right answer? Perfect. The right answer is yes, our teacher didn't tell us a fairy tale, is the correct answer. And number three, we went to the library yesterday. Okay, so we went to the library yesterday. And what about the, let's say, option? We didn't go to the library yesterday or we don't go to the library yesterday, or we doesn't go to the library yesterday. What is your answer? Excellent. Your answer is the first one, we didn't go to the library yesterday. And number four, she loves reading stories, okay? What is the option? What are the options? Let's see. She do not love reading stories, first one. And second one, she doesn't love reading stories. And the last one is, she doesn't love reading stories. Which one is correct? Very good. The right answer is, she doesn't love reading stories. One more, dear students. So number five, I like playing video games. Okay, I like playing video games. 
What about this one? Did you decide? First one, I don't like playing video games. I didn't like playing video games. Or you say, I don't like playing video games. Which one is correct? Very good. You're right. I don't like playing video games is the perfect answer. Yes, my dear students, I guess now you have learned, you know, the easy way of changing affirmative into negative. If so, let us recap, reflect, okay, what did we learn in our class today? Yes, what did we learn? Firstly, in our class today, we learned how to change into negative in this very first part. And then what did we do? Oh, we also corrected some punctuation, okay? And then, ah, we also discussed about our hobby, okay? We discussed a little about our hobby, and then we developed a paragraph, and then lastly, we also played a quiz. Yes, my dear students, so with this, uh, we have almost come to the end of our lesson for today. So before we wrap up our class, let me assign you a very uh, interesting work, okay? So please, you can ask now your family members uh, about their hobbies, or what they, you know, prefer or what they have and you complete the table and you write a oh, paragraph. Look at here. For example, who? Maybe your grandmother. And what does she like? Of course, she likes reading books. Okay? You also can write what does she love to do? Ah, oh, yeah, she loves visiting new places. And what does she hate? What doesn't she like? Okay? What she doesn't like? She doesn't like watching television. Okay, so now you can write about your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, or other members of the family, okay? And you can write about any one of them. What is their hobby? What do they like or dislike? Yes, with this, we have come to the end of our lesson for today. I hope all of you engaged actively from the beginning to the end of this lesson. Thank you so very much for your active participation. So, we will meet again in the next lesson. Till then, take care, have a nice time ahead. Goodbye.